They love our pork. Um, you know, here's the situation. You know, many of these different countries, they have different cuisines, different cultures. Uh, when you look at the, the meat industry, the way we eat meat here domestically, you know, fork, a knife. Uh, but when you look at Asia, it's a lot of slicing and dicing, uh, chopsticks over better rice, uh, you know, some type of uh, a sauce. Uh, so for the most part, you know, we have people from the Meat Export Federation that work in country. Our offices are strategically located uh, in 18 different locations around the world with a staff of 100 people. Wow. Even though we are uh, headquartered in Denver, Colorado, a majority of our people are outside the United States working uh, daily 24-7 to promote U.S. pork. The trade is so important. When you look at uh, just on the value of a, of a hog, um, close to $60 of that hog is just due to trade. Ultimately, at the end of the day, there's reasons for that. You know, there's a demand factor, and that demand, a good portion of that is due to trade, due to the international work that our uh, state and national pork organizations are doing, keeping these markets open for U.S. pork. And when you're able to keep that product flowing, ultimately, at the end of the day, it's going to allow people raising those hogs to um, gain a profit. And I think that's very important, be able to raise a family in the community, be able to support their schools, their churches, their, their stores, retail, and keep rural America thriving.